Senior night, guys. How you feel about it? Excited. Uh, can't wait. Um, kind of came too fast, but uh, it's, it's here now. Uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity on, on Saturday to do something that uh, we haven't done, and that's a co-Champions uh, League. Billy, did you watch the BYU game last night? And if so, what did you think when you kind of saw the score really separate? Um, I didn't see the game, but you know, I saw some of the highlights on ESPN. Um, it's just crazy how things happen. You know, I feel bad for the team, you know, for losing the you know, Davies like that. But, you know, I know that hopefully they'll bounce back, you know, and, you know, what's the best of luck to them. And, you know, it's just, you know, it helps us a little bit. And, you know, I'm just excited for Saturday. Does that kind of get you excited knowing <coughs> that, I mean, clearly they are struggling at this point? Or is it sort of disappointing to you because – you want to beat BYU at its best with all of its starters out there, and well, um, yeah, you know, I felt the same way you felt, right? Like you said, you know, uh, I wanted to beat them at their best, you know. But you know, um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully they bounce back, you know, and we'll, you know, see how it goes. Malcolm, you kind of look at this as an added opportunity here. That I mean, this is a tough conference. Sometimes teams slip, and now with a win, you can get the banner. Um, yeah, we're we're really excited about that. Um, you know, we just try to play hard every game, and you know, luckily BYU lost the game, so we're just trying to get this win on Saturday. We practice hard, and we're just gonna play hard on Saturday. DJ, is it gonna be a weird feeling? Like you've been playing in this building for a long time. Uh, have you let it into your mind that you know, you know, any of those kind of like final last sort of moments? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, still hasn't hit me. I'm sure it will on Saturday. Um, I'm excited, uh, trying trying not to get over anxious uh, about the game, um, but uh, it is my my last one, and hopefully it's a it's it's one to remember. Billy, how different of a game on Saturday would it have been if Davies didn't play in that game? What do you guys think? Um, I think it would be a little bit different, you know. Uh, I can't say exactly if we were going to, you know, if it helped us or not. But, you know, I think, like you said, I think it would have been a little bit different. Going forward, how do you think that will, I mean, he was a third leading scorer, best rebounder. Going forward, in your opinion, how much do you think that will change their team? Um, I think it will change a lot, you know, but I know that they got some great players, you know, coming off the bench and, you know, somebody that we're, uh, that we're replacing. So, you know, hopefully, you know, they'll find a way to, uh, you know, get back together and, you know, try to get some wins. Yeah, I mean, given that this is kind of a different senior night because there are so many of you, uh, Malcolm, does that kind of change the experience because this class, which has done unprecedented things at this university, is all kind of going out together, having as many of you as there are, does that make it more meaningful and more special because this group kind of brought this program to prominence? Yeah, it, it means a lot. You know, um, DJ and Billy were here longer than I have been, but, you know, we, we grew close together, became a family, and, you know, now we're getting all this attention together, and it, it feels good, and it's kind of bittersweet, you know, because it's our last home game, but we're going to try to make it a memorable one. What do you think you guys taught yourselves between Saturday and then coming back on, on Tuesday and, and winning so big in a place where you struggle so often, just to be able to, to really turn it around? Um, it just shows that uh, uh, we're a team that, that, that can move forward. Um, uh, we're not going to a team that's going to uh, live in the past and, and uh, dwell on it. Uh, we're a team that can bounce back and, uh, and play great basketball. Um, Wyoming is a place that we have struggled in, but I don't think it, it mattered where we played at on, on Tuesday uh, because of how we felt after uh, BYU. I think we would have played uh, great wherever we were. DJ, what is it about this place that you really enjoy playing at when the game time atmosphere? Is there any part of it, whether it's the pregame stuff, the environment that you really kind of cling to or will, will really stick in your memory as you would like? Uh, definitely the I Believe chant, uh, something that uh, happened uh, this year. is something I'll remember forever. Uh, to this day, I get goosebumps when they do it. Uh, but that's definitely uh, the thing that uh, I probably enjoyed most uh, from the fans. Billy, same question. Um, it's just the fans, you know, just the people. Just, you know, 
uh, just the support, you know, I've missed that. You know, I just miss, probably miss, you know, just my my friends, my family that I, you know, that I have here. You know, just playing with them and uh, just, you know, coming out, uh, just hearing people saying, uh, screaming your name and, you know, just rooting for you and just having support for you. DJ, will Saturday night be emotional at all? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's a it's our last game here, but uh, this game is 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 more meaningful uh, than a lot because of what's on the line. Um, so I don't think that I really I'll really have time to be emotional about it. I'll be so focused on on doing what it takes to win this game. Uh, but maybe after after if things go the way we hope, um, it'll set in. You saw uh, kind of Kelvin do this last year, and then uh, Lorenzo and Kyle Swain. Um, did you ever think like, okay, this press conference is going to happen, this game is going to happen? I never really thought about it. Um, it, you know, it, it still hasn't uh, set in, and, and I can't believe that uh, it is my senior night. You know, um, it, it, it's crazy to think about that it, it went by so fast. Um, but I, I saw the joy uh, from the past seniors. And stuff, and, and how they uh, enjoyed every moment of their last year, and that's what we're trying to do. Do any of you guys know Brandon Davies at all? And if so, you know what kind of guys he like, and, and what would you say to him now? I I don't think any of us know him, um, but um, uh, it, it's a sad thing that that has happened uh, to him, and. Um, I mean, uh, me and Billy had been there before uh, where we lost a player, uh, so we kind of know uh, what that feels like. Uh, it seems like it's, it's you know, kind of bad timing, but uh, it is what it is, and, and hopefully they can bounce back from it. Colorado State's no slouch. You guys went to the ringer with them last time. Uh, given how much is at stake and the kind of competition that you're going to have, I, I guess the question is, in, in this area, do you think how do you think that you guys match up might be? Uh, they're a very good team. They have a good big man, and they have good guards that can knock down shots. Uh, they do a good job of, of, of clogging lanes and, and forcing the offense to, to beat them from the outside. Um, we're, we're expecting a, a, a hard-fought game. Uh, both teams are, are, are playing for something um, big. Um, you know, so with that said, uh, Saturday should be, uh, should be a good battle. Billy, this year's a little different. You guys seem like you're locked in the other tournament. You guys are, seem like locked at number two or one for the WC tournament. With that being said, does it diminish senior night? Because in the past, you know, this could have been your last game or, you know, one of your last four. Uh, now it seems like you have so many more to play. Does this diminish it, or what's your take on senior night now? Um, you know, uh, this it's crazy. You know, like DJ Sam, I never, you know, thought of leaving, you know, uh, uh, so soon. You know, it's been a hard and long four years here. And, uh, you know, uh, um, it's going to be our last time just playing in this building. You know, I know um, that we got the Mountain West Conference, and, you know, hopefully uh, we can probably go, I mean, hopefully go far in the tournament. So, you know, um, you know, it's just going to be emo a lot of emotions on Saturday. And uh, hopefully, you know, we just go out with a win. What's your favorite memory of here? Um, just coming out, you know, just seeing the fans, the uh, student section, you know, just seeing them always jumping up and down, you know, just cheering for you and just being around, you know, the the environment, just being here. I would I would have to say uh, the same thing as uh, coming out uh, the last time we come out of the out of the locker room and uh, seeing the arena filled. Uh, filled up all the way to the top, um, and everybody's screaming and, and yelling. That I mean, there's there's no words that that, that can express uh, what that feels like uh, as a player. Um, so that that would definitely be the most memorable thing. My most memorable thing is um, seeing people camped out for the game. You know, coming from Pepperdine, you would never. You never see that, so it's just uh, like a dream come true for me. What's the one thing you guys want people to remember you for? Just playing hard, you know. Um, 
you know, yeah, like I'm just playing hard. Um, I I don't know, I don't know. Um, just being a point guard, I guess. I'm just being the just being the point guard of, of of a ranked team. I I don't know. Mine would be being a shot blocker, because I love blocking shots. <laughs> <laughs>